What's going on everybody? It's your boy Spencer taking a look at a step-by-step -step comp tutorial. This one comes from YCS Hartford in the top 32. Uh, the guy's name was Hani, I think, and he's playing Adventure Punk. And I've been wanting to check out Punk for a long time now, or I already know what it, I kind of knew what it does, but I wasn't for sure. So these kind of deep dives help me a lot and hopefully they help you guys too. But uh, this is a, like every single card, like to the mills that he does. I just wanted to show the process and like kind of how the deck works. There's no real combos like combo lines it's what do you have at your resources and i think this is a good example of that uh, don't pay attention to the mirror hand i just need it because one of the cards mills both players decks but okay emergency teleport now officially off the ban list so you get three of those so from the deck you can summon a z amen this lets you pay 600 life points to add a punk monster from deck to hand which is exactly what's going to happen, which is good because eventually we're going to be going into the Brave Token Engine. So if we had normal summon this, the combo line obviously would be quite different. Uh, but you can go ahead and add a Foxy Tune from deck to hand. And then you can normal summon Sangan. Pretty hilarious, but <laughs> this card's been around a long time, but if you don't know what it does, uh, you, if it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add a monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck to the from your deck to your hand, excuse me, uh, but you cannot activate cards or the effects of cards with the name. But you like if they have inherent summoning conditions, like that doesn't matter. So we can go ahead and link those off into a chair beanie, two threes. And then Sangan can go ahead and trigger. We can add a Crusadia Arborea. So it's like I said, it's an inherent summoning condition. You can special summon this card from your hand to a defense in defense position to a zone. A link monster points to. It's also a tuner. So you can probably uh, understand that that's going to be for some Hulk lines. Uh, Cherubini can go ahead and target itself to send a level 3 monster from deck to graveyard. It gains attack, don't worry about that. But you get to send a level 3 and that Water Enchantress, that's a level 3. Uh, so that's pretty neat. And Enchantress, so if you, know, if you don't know what this card does, this is the whole like Brave Token thing. Uh, basically you get to banish it from your hand or graveyard, add a right of a Meseer from your deck to your from deck or graveyard to hand. Pretty cool. So, Ride um, Amasir lets you special summon a uh, adventure token, and then from your deck, you can uh, in face up. Spell and Trap Zone, Journey of Destiny. So, the first time a monster control equipped when the equip card will be destroyed by battle, it's not, not too important. This is really just a synchro engine at the end of the day, but. You can only use each of the following effects of this card once per turn. During your main phase, you can add a monster that mentions Adventure Token from your deck to your hand, then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. And then if a monster is normal special summon, you can take an equip spell that has uh, Adventure Token in its name. So we can go ahead and use that effect. So here's a couple of things. So like you could go through a loop here. So basically, I didn't have Draco, like I, the Draco back is not important, so I didn't put it in the deck for this comp tutorial, but like your next move after this is you could special summon this to a zone, activate the effect to grab Draco back, then use the effect of Journey to add Draco back, send it to the graveyard, attach it to the token. That's like this is kind of how it goes in this. Like the um, Draco back is never used in the video. He actually does discard Driver, or in the duel I should say. But yeah, so we get to add Wandering Griffin Rider. It's an Omni Negate. Kind of protects our plays here. Uh, all you have to do is special summon is Control and Adventure Token. Easy enough. And like I've been talking about, Arborea can special summon. Can change the Cherubini and the Arborea into Christian Holly Fibrax. This lets you summon a level three or lower tuner from hand or deck to the uh, from hand or decked in defense position. So we can special summon from the deck a red rose dragon. This was limited to one. I guess some people were playing it at multiples, but I think it doesn't really much make much of a difference, honestly. Uh, but you can take the Griffin Rider and the Red Rose Dragon and make a Flur. Which is going to trigger red rose so when it's used as synchro material you get to special summon a rose dragon from your deck uh, so that's obviously going to be rocks rose and then when rock rose is special summoned it lets you add a black rose or a card that has black rose dragon in its text so that's gonna be basil rose shoots a quick effect special summon a red a rose dragon from your hand or graveyard in defense position which this is more important than you might think. Um, so we can use the effect of Foxy Tune, which we searched a long time ago. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Send one card, excuse me. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard. So you send this one and another card, and then you get to special on a punk monster from your deck. Uh, so he, he ended up pitching a droplet. You're gonna use most of your hand anyway, so it doesn't really matter. 
Um, you just got to discard something always. But from the deck, you can special summon a Deer Note. So this card's crazy. Uh, if it's sent to the, from Field to Graveyard, you get to special summon a Punk back. So, and po Foxy Tunes a level eight, which is just crazy. Uh, but you can go ahead and synchro those off. That's the Rocks Rose and the Deer Note. And go into a Chaos Ruler. So let you mill the top five, add a light or dark excavated. And like I said, Deer Note, when it's sent to the graveyard, you get to bring back a punk. So you can bring back Foxy Tune. And yeah, so like I said, these mills are the exact same as they were in the duel. Nothing too crazy. Um, he actually just adds another Foxy Tune. So nothing good, kind of at all. Um, but <laughs> crazy. Uh, that's a, They're both eights, right? Uh, you can go into the zombie vampire. So this lets this make when you detach material, each player sends the top four cards uh, of their deck to the graveyard. Detaching the chaos, chaos ruler. Uh, so mill, mill, mill. This one a little bit better, uh, mostly because you get the level one tuner. Hand, <laughs> hand traps are crazy how good they are. But um, now we can go ahead and link off using the um, vampire XYZ and the token the adventure token and go into dagda it's just two monsters crazy how generic this thing is right and then you can use chaos rulers effect to banish one light and one dark to bring it back you can probably see where this is going you can change those two into a hot red archfiend abyss so this is pretty much the combo so what ends up happening during your opponent's turn uh, during your opponent's main phase you click effect you can banish this card you control especially summon a synchro tuner from your extra deck um, which is going to trigger Dagda if it, when an effect of another card of the field is activated. You can set an artifact monster, so you can set an artifact scythe, and then off of Halk you can send you can uh, special summon a TG Wonder Magician, which destroys a spell and trap. So that scythe that was going to get set, uh, you can just destroy it. So you have two Omni Gates pretty much plus a scythe lock. It, it's pretty good <laughs> and also the cool thing is you can set basil rose shoot so if they do have a dark ruler no more which seems to be the answer you would think uh to breaking this board they can activate dark ruler no more you flip up basil rose shoot targeting you know whatever i think both of the um, rose dragons are uh valid targets maybe you want to grab yeah they're both three tuners so it doesn't really matter so they activate dark ruler no more you can't activate monster effects to dark ruler but you can't activate it to basil rose shoot so then you can chain hot red archfiend abyss your opponent can't go into the extra deck there's a bunch of huge bodies on board including the scythe that'll be there if you don't secret summon it off into something and yeah that's ggs right at that point for essentially any duel i can think of <laughs> with these like things just hanging out on the board but that's how it works. Let me know what you guys think about this combo in the comment section down below. Other than that, that's going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.